I want you to stop trying to manifest because truly manifesting is not something we do. This is probably an idea you've come across, but I think the lesson gets lost because, you know, YouTube, the algorithm, it's a hungry beast and it demands, you know, always one upping. I had an interesting conversation over the weekend about how the news and social media, especially right now, needs to be sensationalized. And we, we know this, we know this, right? So if you take the example of someone, someone doing fitness content, right? Like, okay, yeah, there's, there's new science that explains stuff, but for the most part, we know how this stuff works. <laughs> you lift heavy thing, you eat, uh, like you burn more calories than you consume, you know, and you'll lose weight, you'll build muscle, whatever. Like we know the fundamentals of it, but people are always coming out with like, oh, you know, the next best thing and everything's the next best thing, this and that. That's just, it's just to get attention, you know? Because attention is, is a most valuable resource. It really is. So I want you to, <laughs> I want you to embrace, embrace the cliches, you know? Whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. We've all heard that before, but it is so fundamentally true. And I really want you to internalize it. I want you to stop thinking about manifestation as something you do or a process you have to undergo or some sort of ritual. It can involve those things, but it will only involve those things if that's what you need, if that works for you. So like, I'm going to keep using the word manifestation because uh, honestly, I don't currently know how else to, to label this content. You know, like if, if I'm talking about people living the lives they want to live, meaningful lives, fulfilling lives, taking back their power, getting what they want, because that is, that is what I want to do. That's why I've had this career change, which I'm, I'm going to talk about in a second. I think the best way to, to present that at the moment is by using the word manifestation, but I don't think about manifestation. I don't, I don't think of it in that way because we are always manifesting. I've said this before and I'll say it again and I want you to internalize it. We are always manifesting. Whether you believe you can or you believe you can't, you are right. You are always right. Always. Whatever you believe is what you see. And there are no limits. The only limits that exist are the ones we put on ourselves. So I'd like to thank everyone truly from the bottom of my heart. The vast majority of the reaction, the comments to these videos have been really positive and it looks like you guys are getting something from it, which is fantastic. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. And look, I'll be honest. In the past, this isn't the first YouTube channel I've, I've had. I had uh, one more a few years ago that was like a completely different topic, had nothing to do with this. Um, and it got some traction, it did well, you know. But at that time, I was, I was always scared of reading comments, right? Because I was, I was scared of, uh, of criticism, right? But I don't feel that way anymore. And I'm telling you this because this is a perfect case study, right? So the vast majority of the comments in these videos are positive. And that's because I'm not expecting them to be negative. Right? Why do you think I never ask you to like and subscribe, right? Because I know you will anyway, you know, if, if this stuff is for you, you know, if, if, you're the type of person that I am wanting to attract to these videos to build this community because that's, that's what I want. Look, we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> if you're, the, if you're the, the right type of person, no, no, no. If you're in the right mindset, 
That's a much better way to put it. You'll like and subscribe anyway. I don't need to ask. Just assume it to be so, and it will be. So I, I can think of, of just two comments that, that weren't like, ah, you know, amazing. And honestly, they didn't affect me, which is so like just as a personal moment for myself, I'm very proud of myself for that. They were great. They're actually, it, it, it opened up great uh, avenues for discussion. So there was one recently, I'm not even, I'm not even going to put it up on screen. I'm not going to call it out because, um, because anyone coming at this stuff like skeptically, they don't need any negative attention, right? So, um, and, and, and I would ask you to do the same. If you see any, anyone that's like pushing back, don't, you know, don't push back against, against them. We just, you know, send them love. They'll, they'll get there when the time is right. So one comment was talking about how, how, you know, how, how can you, like you have to go to the gym, right? So the physical, the physical world does have some constraints, right? So you can't just like visualize that you're, you're, strong and fit and healthy without going to the gym and have it come true, right? So that this person is correct because that's what they believe. And that's what most of us believe, right? Because the, the physical illusion is so convincing. Even, even when we believe that it's fake, even when we know that it's fake, even when we have evidence, it is so goddamn convincing because that's, it's meant to be. We chose for it to be, right? It is so convincing that we still consent to taking the long way around. So let's use that example of, of getting fit, like getting uh, buff, right? <laughs> I'm telling you right now, yes, you can just sit there visualizing that you are like right it up that you got a you got washboard abs that you look like you run more gear than a transmission you know <laughs> and it will come to pass however you have to do this with zero doubt right if any part of you is like yeah but i, I really do need to go to the gym then you'll need to go to the gym right and and you will still get there but you will have the inspired action to go to the gym. So basically, however it needs to make sense to you, it will happen. I, I feel like I need to nail down on this, on this topic because I know people struggle with this. I, I get a lot of comments asking like, like, how do you do this specific thing or that specific thing? The same way you do everything. There is no, there is no rule. There is no meaning more than you place on it. So like, how do you manifest money? How do you manifest love? The same fucking way. <laughs> it's the same thing. Everything, every thing, place and time exists in one single point and is no more or less valuable than any other single thing, place or time. That's the point. The illusion makes us believe in separation. It makes us think that this book is worth more money than this uh, box of matches. That it is more valuable in some way. But it only is because we consent for it to be true. And the part of me that knows that you're struggling, the part of me that has been there and knows that you listen to that and you go, yeah, but all right, I let either bullshit or secondly, you're going, yes, but how? I want to believe, but how? I'm conflicted because I don't want to buy into that, right? I really want you to say, just let go and believe. But I've been there. And I know it's, it, I know it doesn't feel that easy. Practice. It's the best thing. We suck at it. We hate practice. 
<laughs> I know, like, I'm a teacher. I, I see firsthand. People hate practice. They don't want to practice. Because, because we're so used to instant gratification. We want the immediate feedback, right? This is why phones are so addicting. This is why video games are fun, you know? Drugs. You do a thing and you get a reward. But it's a trap. And I'm here to tell you that when you're ready, when you're in the right mind space, that you will experience that immediacy even through your mental will, through your manifestation, if we want to call it that. But you have to get used to it. You have to get away from the drug that is the physical illusion. Everything you need, everything you want is within you already. It's, it's so remarkably simple, but I know it takes it takes what we perceive to be time to get into that mindset and that is what you need to do so sitting and meditating visualizing for hours on end doesn't matter i'm not going to tell you not to do that but that's not the ticket that's not the thing the thing is to believe that you can do it. So if you want to manifest money, yes, you can absolutely manifest money. You don't need to be an enlightened master, a guru, completely unattached to get what you want. People get what they want all the goddamn time. But if you can get yourself into a mindset where you know not believe, not think, not hope, not need, not desire, not want, no. Beyond a shadow of a doubt, no. That everything you want is possible and that you already have it, then you will never need to manifest ever again. You'll have a fleeting thought and it'll come. Now, I don't want to misrepresent myself here. I'm not here to tell you that I am in that state 100% of the time. But I have experienced it and I know this to be true. Now, remember the, the loops of experience. I don't think that video has come out for you yet, but you will have seen it by the time this one goes out. The experience loops. That's the illusion of time. But the center point, the choice, this is the present. This is where we decide how we feel and what we believe. And then it will appear to come on a delay, but it doesn't have to. That in and of itself is a belief. Man, that's the thing. Like, this is why this shit is so hard to teach the more into this i get the more i i believe all these manifestation coaches on youtube it's really easy to look at them and go man this is just you know what what a racket they say they can manifest whatever they want they can they say they can manifest money and in doing so they get a following that then gets the money right it's like all these people that that teach you how to make money on the internet but really what they're doing is they're making money by selling you the course they're they're, they're making their money by teaching you how to make money on on the internet <laughs> but the more i get into this stuff the more i believe everyone are there charlatans out there probably but it's really it's really difficult to teach this stuff and this is why there's so much content i believe is because the, the idea is so simple and we all just need to find that one way of explaining it. That one person that has that, that particular insight that works for you and it unlocks it. 
So there are rules, but there are not rules. There are rules, but I want you to forget about them. Because the more unbound you are, the more free you are, the easier this stuff is. You know, I'm, uh, I'm hesitant to, to come back to the matrix because I think, I think it's been over-referenced. No, I take that back. It has not been over-referenced because it's a fucking amazing movie that has so many answers. Unfortunately, no one can be told what the matrix is. You have to see it for yourself. That's the thing, man. That's the thing. Right? And this is this is why I went into coaching. So I haven't I haven't talked much about myself on these videos on purpose because I don't want it to be about me. It's about you. The last thing I want is for anyone to externalize their power and project it onto me. That's not what this is about. I'm not a guru. I'm not special. I am no different to you because I am you and you are me. Anything I can do, you can do. And quite frankly, you can probably do it better. <laughs> right. But let's talk about me for a second. So <laughs> I've, I've, I've gone through a career change at the moment. I was a teacher and I just got to the point where the kids are not okay. Right. And it's, it's breaking my heart. Because they don't think they have a future. Man, they're so young and they already think that their entire life is just going to be work, taxes, mortgage, die. You shouldn't feel that way at 13. And it's not just the kids. I have lost so many friends over the past two years. Because... These people were so committed to being miserable. So I said, enough, I don't want to live in this world anymore. So I made a change. And I decided to take steps towards a career that will allow me to help people. And more specifically, give people their power back. Because man, that's the thing. We have the ultimate power, every single one of us, regardless of how we're born, where we're born and in what situation, even though it may not seem like it, even though, yes, some of us appear to be born more fortunate than others, we all have the ultimate power and that power is choice. We can choose in every single moment. It is the greatest power when you really get right down to it. Money, fame, influence, it all comes down to choice. That is the only power and it is ours. It is yours. So stop giving up your power, man. <laughs> Whenever you want something and you, you fixate on the fact that you don't have it, what are you doing? You're giving away your power. You're torturing yourself. That's all you're doing. Anyway, like we've gone on like <laughs> a million different tangents here. But ultimately what I want to say is if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. You make the rules. So over the next week, I want you to think about this. Observe your thoughts. And whenever you slip into a conversation with someone that isn't there, like you have a, an interaction with someone at work and then you start arguing with them in your head, stop and you go and just ask yourself, is this real? Because I know like you do that and you are so convinced that that's what they're thinking, but they only thinking that because you, you, you're giving them that thought to think. So they will show up in your reality having the thoughts you have given them. And I know it is so easy for us to fall into this combative mindset, a uh, mindset of separation, feeling that we need to defend ourselves and we need to win and we, def we need to one-up everyone. But it's not worth it because you're just torturing yourself. 
So observe your thoughts over the next week. And whenever you find yourself having negative thoughts, ask, ask yourself, is this real? And I think you'll, you'll find more often than not that it's not real. We put so much meaning on things that we don't even experience. So, yes, b b bad things happen to us physically. But I firmly believe that most of the time, bad things are happening to us mentally. Because we expect it. Someone will say something. Someone will say something offhand and will blow it up into some like way more than it actually is. <laughs> Which will cause it to reflect in our reality. So observe your thoughts. And just for this following week, just ask yourself, is this real? And see what happens. All right, guys. As always, take what resonates and discard the rest.